Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Jonathan Gardner teaching you how to mod Skyrim. I'm not an expert at these things. I just like to mod Skyrim and maybe my experience is helpful. If not, then don't pay attention to me because I don't know what I'm doing. So we have installed, we've moved the data files out of program. We've moved the Skyrim out of program files. We have installed Mod Organizer 2 and we have installed USSEP, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch because we are modding Skyrim Special Edition. All right, now following the begin to wiki page for the Skyrim mods, uh, Reddit page, Reddit wiki, we go down here and it talks about SKSE. SKSE is probably one of the most important mods ever written for Skyrim. The bug patches are really, really useful. Makes you can play the game without crashing all the time, but this thing is super important. So you go to skse.silverlock.org and you look around and it's like, wow, this is it. This is really confusing. I'm using SE, so I'm looking at this link right here and it says there's a seven zip archive, download that. Downloading that, we get this file here. We extract all, we're gonna open the archive actually. And we see this, okay, there's this directory SKSE 64.2.0.12. Double click on that to get inside and we see all these files and we're like, what in the world is going on? I'm confused. Remember what I said about mods, you have to read. So there's this thing called readme, readme.txt. Let's click that open. There it is in notepad. It tells you what it's for, what it does, and how it works. Uh, let's actually say, can I put on a format word wrap? There we go. Okay, let's make it a little less wide. There we go, now it's almost readable. Okay, installation, copy the DLL EXE files to your Skyrim SE directory. Okay, now this is scary, and this should feel a little bit scary. So we are going to go to uh, our games directory, which is where we installed Skyrim SE. Steam apps, Steam library, Steam apps, and then common. And you see your Skyrim special edition. So this is the scary folder. This is the thing that you can't use mod organizer to manage. Okay. And it says copy the DLL and EXE files. So let's take the DLL and the EXE file, control click there. And we're going to drag them over here and it's going to copy them. Okay. Done. To your Skyrim SE, but this is usually in your program file, blah, 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 blah. If you see files named Skyrim SE and Skyrim SE Launcher, this is the correct folder. So we see Skyrim SE and Skyrim SE Launcher. Good. Excellent. Do not copy those files to the data folder as with a normal mod. The source folder is only useful for programmers. Most users can ignore it. We're not going to be using it. We're not programmers. Step two, copy the PEX files in data scripts into the data scripts folder of your installation. So data, I don't see a scripts folder here. Oh, let's go here, data, and here, let's move this, let's just move the entire script folder over. Let's see what happens. Oh, shoot, I made a mistake. I moved it to the video folder. Let's hit Control X. Let's go back up to here, and let's hit Control B. Data scripts. Okay. Um, wow. I copied over more than just what I wanted. Copy the PEX files. That's all of them. Yep. Um, if you create mods, copy the PSC files in data script source. Uh, I might be creating mods one day. I don't know. Probably. Uh, this PSC only if you do creation kit installed. And if you install blah, 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 make sure to add them to your include path. I don't know what that means. Run SKSC64 loader to launch the game. So what we're not going to do is we're not going to run it from here. What we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our mod organizer. Let's go ahead and close this out. And I'm following <laughs> the instructions here. If you want to follow along. Um, <clears throat> open your launcher menu in MO and add the SKSE loader, SKSE 64 loader. Okay, so we're going to go here to launch menu. You see this edit button? We're going to click that. Okay, and then we are going to uh, add a new one. So we're going to click these double dots, triple dots here. We're going to go find our Skyrim folder again. In fact, you know what? I'm kind of tired of finding this. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to take this Skyrim Special Edition. I'm going to drag it over here. That should put it in the favorites. Uh, one more time. Add pin to quick access. There, that's what we want. It's pinned now. Okay, so we go over here. SKSE 64 loader. Click that. Open. And we're going to call this uh, SKSE. Okay. And I think that's all we need. Is there anything else we need for this? Uh, if using MO. Yeah. Okay. So we're done. So we can hit add. You see it appears here. When you click on that, it has that SKSE 64 loader there. Okay, so we're gonna hit close. And from now on, when we launch Skyrim, we're going to launch it with SKSE. Okay, because all the mods that require SKSE won't run unless that's there. 
and that's pretty much all of the good mods that you really want. Let's give that a run. Oh shoot, there's some problems here. It says that it couldn't find SKSC64 Steam Loader DLL. Couldn't inject DLL. Okay, that's a problem. What's going on here? Uh, SKSC, let's try it again and see what it complains about. Couldn't find SKSC64 Steam Loader. I probably didn't in, in, install that. So, <laughs> open a new tab, open a new window. Okay, let's keep that open there. Skyrim Mods. Let's open that with 7-zip, open archive. Ah, see, I forgot one. Now it should run. <laughs> SKSC is installed. It doesn't tell me that it's installed, but it's installed. And it's running now. Congratulations. Quit the desktop. Yes. That's how you do SKSC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's probably better videos of this out there, but this is mine. I'm happy. Take care. Bye-bye.